Hello everyone and welcome to another video where I show you my daily routines. I get up when my body decides it had enough sleep and that's usually between 8 and 9. Some of you have been asking what I sleep on. Some time ago I decided that sleeping on the floor is not hardcore enough, so I've been sleeping on walnut shells to get tougher. I'm joking, I simply use a wool blanket, not too soft, not too hard. Right after getting up I need to rehydrate my body, so I go get my water from the well in the basement. Not really, it's just a set of filters. As I drink my water, I catch up on emails and stuff. Before I eat anything, I work for an hour or two, writing emails, training plans for my clients, and so on. There are a few free places for coaching right now, so if you're interested, check out my Patreon page. Sometime after I drink the water, I make a coffee. I work some more as I drink it and wait for the caffeine to kick in. When it happens, I start warming up for the workout. I'm doing intermittent fasting right now and the coffee helps to keep the hunger at bay and also makes me energetic. That makes getting into the workout mind easier. Training on an empty stomach in the morning is great for me. I feel very light and vigorous and the hunger kicks in only at the end of the session. As for the workout, I did some skill work at the beginning and then finished with basics. The weather outside isn't very nice anymore, so I tend to do most of the training at home. Can you train outside when it's cold? Yes. Is it enjoyable? Not really. So I just choose to train indoors if I can. During the workout I'm drinking water with half of a lemon. I mean juice from half of a lemon, god damn it. After the training session it's time for breakfast. That day I had some ripe bananas, so I made a big smoothie. I ate it with some walnuts. Around 3 o'clock I go out for a run. Recently I bought minimalistic running shoes without any padding. With no cushioning they force you to land on your toes first. Maybe not so much. Yeah, that's more like it. This makes you cushion the impact with your calves instead of relying on the shoes. For me it's a great thing because I don't feel any discomfort in my knees after the run anymore. I like to use the time while I'm running actively. You can listen to audiobooks, podcasts, watch videos or peel carrots for dinner. Speaking of dinner, right after I come back from the run, I'm having some steamed veggies and roasted sunflower seeds. Rather boring stuff. What makes it exciting is this hot sauce. It is extremely hot chili sauce. 
this amount would burn soul of a casual person who tries it. I'm not a beginner, I can eat a whole habanero pepper, but this sauce is just another level. I have to be cautious with it, but it makes eating plain veggies much more fun. See how much fun I'm having? I spend the rest of the day editing videos if I have already shot them, shooting them if I haven't, or just planning, writing scripts or searching for inspirations. My social life is almost unexistent right now, but I'm focused on training and my career, or however you want to call it. Routine may be boring and not very interesting, but this is when the most progress is made. Grinding every day, whether it's work or training, gives results, because it's consistent. Consistency and persistence is what allows you to get better all the time. At around 7 o'clock I'm having my last meal, which is the biggest one of the day. It's usually some kind of a grain, green veggies, beans, tomato sauce and seeds. This is where most calories of the day come from. Sometimes if I don't feel like chewing too much, I just blend it up into a smoothie. I don't really do that, it's disgusting. And that's my typical day right now. I know it's not ideal, but no one said so. Life has exciting moments, but also dull ones, and I've learned to appreciate both. This video was brought to you by Movement. Movement offers awesome looking, high quality watches that don't cost a fortune. If you like minimalistic designs like I do, you're definitely going to find something for yourself. They also have sunglasses that are just as good as their watches. Again, high quality and dope looking models. So if you're in market for a watch or sunglasses, go to mvmt.com and use the discount code TRAININGPAL15 for 15 bucks off the purchase. Thanks for watching and see you next time!